question mark. Nothing needs to be explained. We waste our time rattling our brains on discussions. We need no longer to discuss. I am disgusted at our lack of action and you should be too. For we are all to blame. For we are all the same regardless of what our flaws might say. We are people. We have blood in our veins. Some blood, better yet much blood, is saturated in iniquity. Though some have been changed, we still refuse to use our power to destroy our chains. Our shackles stem further than roots. You can count all the way back to when Eve bit that fruit that was the first noose tied around the necks of our collective human body. That serpent slithered his way into Eve's mind with a lie. Now we lie within the lies of these new age serpents attempting to rearrange what God said. That's what happens when you don't listen to the head. He speaks. Yet we question his intent. Who are we? Oh. You must not know, or have we forgotten that his word framed the worlds and brought your very soul into existence? Listen when he speaks and don't question, just go and know that we cannot have justice without first realizing he just is alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Believe me, my friend, he knows he knows the shadows of innocent blood creeping from the concrete. The tears of mothers crying out for their lost children. He hears them, but we must first hear him and understand that our freedom does not stand within caucuses, congregations, or convocations. For these conglomerations only attract sections, not nations. If we lift him up, he will ensure our unification, because surely a house divided against itself cannot stand. Man, we need each other. We are brothers and sisters separated by a gospel of hatred. They say, you need to grind till you shine and get yours, B. With a little Malcolm X twist, by any means necessary. And if brother gets in the way, it becomes okay to slam. A culture that says it's okay to turn our backs on our brothers. Abandon love for pride's sake and don't say a word. Not realizing we are throwing away our boys and girls. The future generations. We have the power to keep them blameless, but you choose. Will we use love or continue to spread hatred? Mountains, we dream. Valleys, we dream. Shadows, we dream. Windows, we scream at the top of our lungs. Our air scares us. It chills us. We feel brittle and unsettled. For our words are more powerful than our flesh. More powerful than anything seen. Literally, lightning can be captured and frozen with our speech. We hold something ever so powerful within us. Our beings was shaped and brought to life with words from the Creator. He is the source of life and His word is His being. He came in our likeness to enlighten, light a flame in our, in our dead hearts, give us power to resurrect from the cycle of our vices, the devices our adversary instilled in our minds so that we couldn't be ignorant of them. But yet, we hold them, treasure them, as a child treasures his gift he received on that late December date, we, per we play with them too. Weapons of mass destruction we use as Tonka trucks to drive ourselves, brothers and sisters, down intoxicated. We don't even recognize that his eyes were on us all the while we were recklessly driving down a dead end road with a blindfold of fantasy covering our eyes. It's a good thing he came with light. A light so bright that it trampled our fears, opened our ears so that we can hear life. Opened our lungs so that we can breathe life. Massaged our skin so that we can feel life. And I don't know about you, but that bright light touched my soul. And I refuse to go back to my sins. I mean my toys. I refuse to be dead again. Stuck in torment, waddling in filth. So now I speak life. Life. <laughs>